guys, uh, I've been praying for a while for a rapture dream because I love all your rapture dreams so much. You guys get taken up and be with the Lord in the sky and uh, you see the stars like scroll rolling up and all that kind of stuff. And I really wanted one. And most of all, I guess I want to know if I'm being left behind or not. But I shouldn't be. Um, but anyway, um, as I was praying for this, I got another kind of rapture dream. Um, I dreamed I was in my uniform and I work at a refugee camp. So I was standing at work and I was looking at the gate, the entrance, people coming in and people coming out and boom, I was gone. And uh, I didn't see anything in the sky. I was just boom, gone out of there. And um, the next picture in my dream was me looking at the earth and the earth was about like this big. Okay, so I was deep in space and... Um, I was very well aware, although I was looking at Earth, uh, that there were other planets around me. And I could see the colors of the other planets. They were all pastel colors and they were like light pink and light green and light blue. And they were all beautiful to look at, okay? But Earth had, uh, was the only one that had multiple colors. Uh, all these other planets had just basically one color. And um, as I was looking at planet Earth, I got all this information put into my head, brains, I don't know how to say it, I wasn't there, my body wasn't there, so let me say all this information got put in my spirit, and um, th 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 there was so much information, it was all the information on uh, everything, how uh, the world was created, and what happened since creation, okay, so it was basically everything, uh, although I do feel a couple of things were restricted for me to see that I was not allowed to see the knowledge of, but it's like, since it's like a bag full of balloons filled with helium, okay? Somebody hands you a bag full of uh, balloons, opens it up, you open it up, they all fly up, and then the person says, grab one or two, because that's all you're going to be ha holding on to, and you see all the rest of the balloons go up. So that's basically what happened with the knowledge. I got it all. Some was was restricted. I know I didn't get, but uh, basically all that I needed to know. Let me put it like that. And but I was only to remember two or three three things when I woke up. Okay. So as I was floating in space, and this is this is the whole thing. I was continuously in space. I saw nothing going on around me. There was absolute silence. I was looking at the earth and these plants were around me. Okay. So that's all that, that I saw. And then the knowledge came to me that in a, in a time long ago, there was, uh, Adam and Eve, they were created and they were created in heaven, um, by God. And, um, God created all these planets and we were just the last planet that he created. And all these other planets are old. And all the civilizations are so far advanced. And uh, we're, uh, we're compared. Uh, our planet was the last one to be created. We're compared like a, a seedling that is just showing his first two leaves. To, and to these other planets being all oak trees that are thousands of years old, okay? So that's the comparison. That's how young we were compared to all these other planets. And that included life on Earth, okay? We are just uh, insignificant uh, in knowledge compared to all the knowledge these other uh, planets have, all the people on the other planets. I knew... God created Adam and Eve. I knew he did not create Adam and Eve on earth. He created them in heaven. He cast them out of paradise, which was he casted them out uh, onto earth and there they had to live and um, uh, continue to live and, and uh, multiply the planet. Okay, uh, Eden is not on earth. Eden is in heaven. God created earth to be like heaven. Uh, heaven is much like earth, uh, only heaven is more beautiful than earth, okay? So, uh, that's, that's what my knowledge, uh, that was the knowledge that I was given. Um, I knew that God created 
everything, all of these planets. He created all of them. And he created all the beings on these planets. They all come from that same source of light. But the only one he created equally to himself was us, the human beings. Okay, so these other people that share our DNA, because we all come from the same um, light, which is God, um, they are they are family, okay? But like I don't consider people that I don't know family, uh, neither do they consider us family, okay? So the next thing I was given in knowledge was that there was um, one shared DNA. Everything is connected. Uh, there are other planets that have life on it, what I just said. And then there was a war in heaven. And as I said, there was some knowledge that was concealed because I don't know what started the war. But uh, although I was still in space with these planets around me, nothing was happening. My eyes were still focused on the earth. I knew there was a war and um, there were battleships and there were pots coming out of the, these battleships that were the, the fighters, the, the fighter pilots. And uh, the battleships got hurt. And uh, some of them had to go back to their planet to get, uh, uh, or now, or they wouldn't make it. Uh, uh, and they left, pots, pots were left behind. Uh, some of them got totally destroyed, pots were left behind. Um, I don't know how they got to Earth. They might have gone through some wormhole or whatever. But anyway, uh, according to their knowledge, Earth was the closest planet to the war that they just had. So they landed on Earth. Uh, some ships were damaged uh, or some uh, pots were damaged. Some, you know, like, like a fighter jet, you know, you got to compare the ship to the fighter jet. Okay, so the fighter jets were where some of them were damaged. Uh, some of them couldn't fly again. Um, almost none of them could make it with their with their uh, jet to back to the planet. Okay, that's why they need the mothership. Um, and I knew that all these big drawings that are on, on mountains that you can see from space, they were created to say, hello, we're here, we landed here, come pick us up, um, by these aliens that landed on Earth. Now, I don't think they ever had the attention to um, marry us or consummate a marriage or have babies with us. Um, because in my knowledge, I got survival. They had to survive uh, in some way or form. Uh, they did not know if their planet had been destroyed. Uh, but I did understand that only God can allow a planet to be destroyed. Okay, so if God said, I had it with these guys, just destroy the, the, the complete uh, planet, then they would never be able to go back. So I, I got that knowledge that God is the only one that is allowed to destroy the planet. So what happened was when these aliens land, or not aliens, they're actually our family, they share our DNA. Uh, when these uh, ETs landed on Earth, because that's the only way I can explain it, that they're not human, but uh, landed on Earth, uh, some of us loved us because we were like little babies, you know, we were so far behind. We were like babies. Our knowledge didn't grasp what was going on on their planets. Even if they explained it to us, then we, they wouldn't be able to understand because we are just that seedling uh, with, the, with compared in the brain also uh, with the humans uh, compared to these big oak trees that are these other planets that were there first. And, um, I understood that some of us loved us and some of us uh, cradled us and some of us knew, uh, some of them knew that we were created in the image of God so they should uh, serve us and love us and nurture us and keep us safe. And others just hated us because we were, for better lack of word, uh, compared to them so retarded, you know, that, that they actually thought... Uh, uh, we are gods, so let's make use of that and let's use them as uh, uh, slaves. You know, if we're going to be stuck here, we might as well uh, make sure that they're going to do the work for us and uh, make sure that, that we get eaten and let them slaughter the cow because that we're too good for that. And uh, mm -hmm. so that's where we got our, I got the knowledge that that's where we got our demons and our angels from, okay? 
So um, most of them were picked up again uh, and they went back to the planet and um, some of them decided to come back after the flood um, and uh, stay on earth because they either loved earth or they loved having slaves or they you know but anyway uh, all the information that I got in my head is that uh, these ETs that got to the earth those are uh, what 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 other uh, religions have what the Romans had the, about the gods the Titans uh, th this is where it all comes from okay so they uh, they worshipped other gods uh, but there is only actually one God, and that one God never came down on earth. That uh, God sent messengers to earth. Uh, he doesn't need a, uh, God does not need a vehicle to come down to earth. Okay, but a messenger might need a vehicle. Um, I mean, if I am a king, I do not go to your country, but I will send a man, man, uh, 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 a man in a carriage or uh, on a horse to your country to relay a message. So you have to understand uh, how that works. I am the king, I am the god. Okay, I'm, I'm not coming to, to you, I don't need to come to you. You know, I don't need to come to you. You know that I exist, you know I am here. This is my messenger, I'm gonna send him with a horse and a carriage and send him to your country with that message that I have for you. Okay, so that's how it basically works from what I understand. If God comes down from heaven, he's not gonna come down in a chariot okay Jesus is going to come down in his uh, amazing chariot because Jesus is the messenger okay so um, that's what I understood f from all the knowledge that I got and um, the, the thing is you look around you and you see all this evil and the knowledge that I got is that DNA from those evil aliens and and I don't think they actually had sex with us. I think they inseminated us because they are, they were, they are so advanced. Uh, they, they with the with the uh, with just a, a sliver of their own skin, they could put it in your womb and you would have a baby. You know that's how advanced they were. So I don't think they actually had sex with us, but that's what I just don't think. Okay. So, but what I understood is they did have babies with us, but I don't know if they actually had. Um, um, intercourse with the, with the with the people okay so um but that dna that is still on earth and that dna is right now um you see that all over you see people having meltdowns you see people going like basically crazy like they're uh demon possessed okay but that's not it's not like that it's the dna that is getting activated and I don't know how it's getting activated. I did not get that knowledge, but I did get the knowledge that the DNA is activated. The evil DNA is activated, but at the same time also is the DNA because the other angels, the good angels, they had to survive too, because if they did not survive, there would be nobody else to protect us. So they too had babies with the, with the people on earth, okay, in order to protect us, have protectors for our, our race. So that DNA is also activated. So you, you will see a lot more good and you will see a lot more evil at the same time. But because of the news, you basically only see the evil. You, you hardly ever see the good. But there's good uh, still going on. And uh, when I woke up, when I had all that information and when I woke up, I, I went into like a, a, a faith crisis because I thought, if that is true, then basically what that means is that um, angels are extraterrestrials and that would mean that it would make a whole lot of sense that, uh, that um, once we get raptured, they would think that we all got kidnapped by aliens because that probably did happen. and. I had to struggle through that dream and faith and then 
I came finally to a point where I could make this video because I came to that point where I prayed and prayed. And I felt like God was saying to me, you want to want to be raptured, yes or no? Does it matter how you're going to be with Jesus, yes or no? You know I'm real, you know you had me in that dream, you know that I created it all. Do you want to be with me and Jesus, yes or no? And uh, does, it, does it matter how you're going to get there, you know? And then I thought, no, I don't care. <laughs> Extraterrestrials, angels coming down from heaven. They're angels anyway, you know. They're the ones that have been protecting us all these years. So these are our angels looking out for us. Okay, so that was it that I wanted to, to say. And I found it a very interesting dream. Uh, I still hope I'm going to get a normal rapture dream so that I can actually see. Uh, like what you guys have all been seeing, you know, the scroll of the heavens and the ripping open. Uh, I still would love to see that. But it doesn't matter how we're going, we're going. And it doesn't matter what we're going to believe. You know, they're going to believe we're going to be taken by extraterrestrials, which might be true or not, but we're still going to heaven and we're still going to have our wedding feast and we're still going to, you know, it's that's still on. Okay, so uh, I, am, I have no doubt about that. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye.